Have you ever reached a point where you are so tired, you're mentally overwhelmed, you're thinking all the time, it just feels like you're just going, 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 and you lose certain aspects and parts of who you are because you just don't have time for them. It's crazy because given the fact that I am a mental health advocate and it's really important for me to talk mental health, especially in uh, my channel and in my videos, I find it that in October was one of my most hardest mentally challenging months. I cannot tell you how I was so inundated with work, with Vlogtober content, with all sorts of kinds of things that I needed to do, sponsorship posts and all of that, that I found myself in a really, really difficult place where I could not even be intentional with myself. So the little things that you see me doing here is me writing in three of my very favorite books. And the first one is this one called Burn Before, Burn After Writing. <laughs> it's called Burn After Writing because it gives you the prompts that make you sit down with yourself and think about some of the things that you love about you or some of the memories that you have about, you know, your history, your life, what you'd like to change. Do you have any regrets? Um, and for me, it's so important to have this kind of uh, mental thinking because it it encourages mindfulness. It encourages gratitude for me to sit back and think about all of the things that have happened or the things that I'm excited about or the things that mean something to me, the moments, the people, and that I really love to fill that particular book in. And then, of course, immediately after that, I will always look at my Live in Wellness workbook. I love this workbook with my life, okay? Not only is it my little baby, my first workbook, but it actually works. And at the end of October, there's going to be a second workbook, which is the Spring Has Sprung one, and you'll be able to pre-order and all of that. Once you see me show what it looks like, just know that the pre-orders will be open. But anyway, I love this one because it makes me more intentional about my goals, what I want to achieve, whether it is in the short term or mid term or long term. It makes me focus and harness in on all the things that I want to work on, the improvements that I want to make, whether it comes to my family, my friends, my relationships, professionally, uh, relationally, you know, emotionally. What do I want to look at and focus on for me and for my life currently? And I love that I've had it for so long, but I still am currently filling it in because it's not something you have to fill in every single day. You just need to look at it as and when you feel the compulsion to be able to express gratitude, to work on yourself, to push intentional living. And for me, I do that and I just date each and every time that I'm filling it in. Uh, but it keeps me on track with what I want to do for myself and for my life. Immediately after that, I move on to Lighter by Young Pe Pueblo. <laughs> by Young Pueblo. I love this book so much. And on this day, I was reading about healing and the power that comes with healing and uh, what it actually means. And it came at such a poignant time because I'm currently trying to heal from emotional traumas that put me in a, and physical traumas rather, that put me in a place where I was, I am depressed. And I love this book because it makes me intentional with what I want to achieve or where, or understand where I come from and what I'm doing emotionally for myself to be better. You should try it too. Hey friends, cup of tea. Uh, my voice is sounding very really chapped, cracked, sad. I'm not sad. I'm very tired, okay? And the tea is very hot. Don't you just hate it when people do that? They're like... Eh. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Honestly, I don't know where this vlog is going to go. I've got you 
dangerously perched up on the word of the Lord, the Bible, and confident and killing it by Tiwalo Ogunesi. It's perched on the word of the Lord. So we are praying that the camera will not fall. <laughs> anyway, hey everybody. Uh, I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. The last two weeks has by far been the busiest weeks for me. I really think all year. And I'm talking in terms of the amount of work that I've had to do. The commitments that I've had to adhere to. Uh... Vlogtober is a large part of that. Uh, I signed myself up for the challenge of Vlogtober. And I love challenges. So I don't regret signing myself up for the challenge of Vlogtober. Yes, I have a hair cap or a wig cap or whatever they call them on because I sleep with it on when my hair gets really annoying. And I, I just, I'm just like, mm-mm. Uh -uh. Um, I love the satin bonnets and what have you, but my head is too small for those. So I don't know. Uh, I was speaking to one of my friends and she said, who was I speaking to? And she said, maybe I need to get those do rags that uh, men wear, especially when they have waves and things. I just need to find out where I can buy those. I'm sure if I did go China more, lay China CT, I'm sure. Anyway, um, so the last couple of weeks has been so busy. It's been so busy. I took on new clients for Life by Design. The dog is barking. It's wonderful. I am immensely grateful for this, the clients that I have. Uh, Man, when I started, I had like two clients or whatever. Now it's, let's just say the clients are in the double digits, okay? <laughs> and I, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm grateful. I think I'm filled with so much gratitude because there are people in the world who choose to believe in me and the work that I can bring in terms of helping them and helping them navigate through the changes and transitions that are happening in their lives. There is nothing in my life that I find more fulfilling right now. I love YouTube. I've got the sniffles because I, I'm not going to cry. But I love YouTube. And don't get me wrong, I love YouTube. But I, with my coaching, and uh, speaking at workshops and things like that, I feel is what I've been called to do. That is what God said, this is you. And it took me, I remember I had this conversation with uh, Lucia about how it took me literally coming apart at the seams in my most darkest moment around the time that I got diagnosed with depression. It took me coming apart. God literally broke me apart to then help me come out of it and allow me to be living uh, my life as I feel that my purpose is intended to be. I don't know if that makes sense. But uh, I'm grateful. I'm really, really grateful that I get to do this every day. But because of that, Vlogtober coaching sessions, creating content for various platforms, Life by Design stuff and the Katleo Malela stuff. I had a sponsorship as well this month that I had to focus on. It was a lot. I am tired. And you know what the craziest thing is? I sleep, okay? Because I have learned that not to treat rest as a reward, but to see rest as a resource. So I sleep because I choose to sleep, okay? I'm not gonna do this two, three hours of sleep, no. I sleep, man. When it's like 10 o'clock, I'm, I'm out. 
and I'll wake up at like 6 or I'll wake up during the night to go tinkle because you guys know I drink a lot of water. Um, so, I still feel tired. I think it's the year in fatigue but also at the same time it's just the busyness, the constant going, 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 it just doesn't stop. So I, I, I wanted in the last vlog or two vlogs ago, I started reading before I let go. I put it down. No ma'am, I put it down. The reason why I put it down is because I put it down because I just don't want to read about difficult topics anymore. I want to get lost in my books and be happy when reading something and all of that. So I put it down because I knew that there'd be difficult topics of grief and sorrow in Before I Let Go. And in a, a, he a very heavy mental month for me because it is Mental Awareness Month. So I am very intentional about what I do. I'm in my mind quite a lot. I'm coaching, which takes a lot of mental strength from me and all of that. And um, I, I chose, I actively chose that I want to read fluffy books. I want to read romances. Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan is a romance, but it's got heavy topics in it. And I don't want, I don't want that. So I put it down. This is the book that I'm going to be reading. I haven't started it, but I've heard wonderful things about this book, so I'm going to start it now.
Don't break it. Don't break it. <sighs> hey, chaps. How are you? It is uh, the next day from whatever footage that you saw. Um, I had to leave the house for a little bit. You know, I, I just... I've been in the house for a number of days now and at this point I just needed to leave the house a little bit. Um, I needed to stock up on probiotics and I've decided to give my Ruterina Femme a little bit of a break and use a different probiotic and this time around I'm trying the Femina 10 Probiotic Strains. So we'll see how that one goes. That's one that I've also heard a little bit about. Uh, I'm sure you'll see a little bit of the footage when I was looking at the probiotics. I picked up a drink. I do have wine. Sounds great to pour myself a glass of wine. P picked up a drink. I literally bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. And I paid around 300 bucks for them. No, not 300 bucks, maybe 400 bucks for them. Outside of the drink. Obviously, the drink is more expensive than that. But basically, what I'm trying to say is the cost of living is too high. And at this point, when are we actually going to have this conversation? It doesn't matter whether somebody has access to money, doesn't have access to money. Put all of that aside, okay? Let's just generally look at stuff and talk about how everything is just everything is expensive nothing nothing everything is expensive do you understand what i'm saying to you it's the craziest anywho thing. Now oh you know something i love from checkers is this three cheese salad love it so i'm a, I'm a big cheese fan i love cheese as you know even when i'm doing my charcuterie boards cheese is my jam okay i love cheese so when i saw this and i was like this is nice and it actually keeps in the fridge for quite a while um so i really really do enjoy this one especially when i've just made like lamb chops or something oh somebody gonna scream at me to close the fridge let me close the fridge before i gee let me close the fridge because i remember <laughs> i remember in my previous video someone was like yo not me screaming fridge." <laughs> my mom would be the same same way Tell me, am I the only one who hates this, like water at the, you know, I, I will, I will, if, if my life is going to be easier in any way, I will make it easier. I'm not going to buy a whole watermelon unless I'm entertaining and there's a bunch of people coming through and all of that. Then we can cut it up nicely into triangles and all of that. Um, but if it's just me and I'm craving watermelon, I'm... <laughs> I call it. <laughs> if it's just me and I'm craving watermelon, I'm always going to get the chopped stuff. But every time it comes with a bit of watermelon juice water at the bottom, and I don't like that. It drives me so insane that I would actually want to pat down the watermelon with a kitchen towel. <laughs> but I don't. But I don't. Obviously, you can't do that. But so I drain out the water and then I empty out the watermelon into a glass container. Let me do that now. And then we'll have a conversation about the current book that I'm reading. I started it today. And when I tell you the romantic in me is just fluttering.
Hi. Yes, I am drinking red wine and I'm sitting on a rather fancy couch. Okay? One wrong mistake. One. Okay, there's some people talking outside. I'm like, what the hell? Am I hearing things? Anyway, yeah, I know. But I felt like having a nice chilled glass of red. I could have had the whiskey, but I don't know what I did. Anywho, gents, I wanted to tell you about this book. Yo, yo, yo. I started it today, and... I think I'm on page 89, right? I started it today. This is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. Now, this is a romance novel. And over the last couple of months, I don't recall reading a romance novel. And when I'm saying to you romance, I mean, I mean all the thrills and frills, okay? I mean sweet smarty just oh the banter the smart the the funny the just ah oh, they're just amazing now if there's one thing you don't know about me if there's something that you don't know about me then i'm going to educate you on today is i am a romantic of note i i just oh my god <laughs> i love love and all the people who have been with me intimately will will testify they will attest to that and say what oh, i know shem she is i'm a lover of love i plan romantic dates whether in the house or outside the house i plan romantic getaways that kind of thing and i love it i absolutely love it it's, it's like it's a thing for me you know so so what is it they have a good time what is it with me they have a good time also a hundred he has a good time but that's besides the point. This is yours truly by Abby Jimenez. Now, we follow Brianna. But not only Brianna, we follow two, a dual uh, uh, POV, right? Uh, dual points of view. We follow Rihanna and Jacob. Not Rihanna, Brianna and Jacob. Brianna is a doctor, okay? She works for this uh, hospital that she's always wanted to work at. She's been working there for about 10 years. And she's in the running to become chief of the hospital because the uh, current chief is older and he's retiring, right? So, you know, everybody's just excited for her. The nurses are excited for her. They know that it's coming her way. It's coming her way. Jiggy, Jiggy, Jacob. Nangut, trust a man to ruin it all, you know? Jiggy, Jiggy, Jacob comes into the picture shop. Hi, Jacob. Ooh, he takes a job at the same hospital that Brianna works at. And from the jump, you know, uh, the current chief calls in Brianna into his office and says, listen, we all know you're in the running for this job. We all know blah, blah, blah. But nobody contested. Nobody is in the running with you and all of that. So I'm going to stay on another couple of months so that maybe we can see if the new doctor, Dr. Jacob Maddox, uh, would maybe want to take go up against you in the running for chief. Brianna absolutely loses it. She's like, what? I've been here for 10 years. This gent has only been here for all of two minutes and all of a Sunday. What is this, right? And now uh, all the nurses at the new hospital just don't like the new doctor. It's his first day that time. They don't like him. They don't like him a lot. Shut crunch up. Jacob and Brianna have... Um, encounters right and we see them from both their perspectives brianna is just like i don't like this guy this that and the other obviously because she feels like her job might be threatened the position that she wants might be threatened because of this new doctor right jacob over to guys knows nothing one of the beautiful things about this book is that at the beginning of the book the author does say listen reader there are going to be some topics that are going to be discussed in the book that might be a little bit difficult. Uh, there's topics about people who struggle with anxiety, ding, ding, ding. And I could instantly tell that Jacob is the one who has an anxiety struggle, right? Um, nothing was classified as a disorder, but he's very anxious. Social anxiety, oh my God. Uh, like, I was just like, Jacob, you are me and I am you. 
So anyway, they uh, butt heads a little bit for the first couple of days. And then uh, Brianna ends up hearing from two or three doctors that, nah, man, Jacob is actually a nice guy, man. I went to school with him. I worked with him. I know his mom. Da -da -da -da. He's actually a great guy. And then she's like, only to find Jacob is a great guy. <laughs> so they start. So I'm at this. I'm look. I'm only eighty nine pages in, but they are at this place where they're starting to communicate with each other, and they start communicating to each other with letters, and they leave little notes and letters. Um, and it's purely. It purely started because Br uh, Jacob wanted to apologize to Brianna for a couple of things. And he thought, look, I won't be able to do it. I want a live jive because, you know, of his social anxiety and all of that. So let me write her a letter. And then it became a back and forth back. And when I tell you, my heart was just going, I was, I'm, I am lapping it up, okay? Uh, but for the most part today, I'm just, I'm really just going to chill, hang out, okay? Whether I take you along, I will. If I don't, I don't. And I guess it'd be like that sometimes. But I also really want to read. So I can't decide. Good Girls or Abby Jimenez. Or Abby Jimenez. This is the one that you just don't want to put down. I'm 89 pages in and all I want to do is read it. So...